Ugh, that censure as hell is beating down on us when it comes to the desert. Ah, you're telling us. But, to look on the bright side, we made it here to the desert. Right now should be a good time to look around for the signs of the crystal ball. Or the clues about the crystal ball rather at the moment. Yes indeed. As long as one of Kizato's minions doesn't pop out of nowhere while we are searching, we should be fine. I hope. It's searching time. appears to be no signs of the crystal ball in this here area. There should be signs of it somewhere here. The question is, where could the signs of it be? I have no idea, but we got to keep looking. No signs about the crystal ball here? Let's look around in a different area of the desert. Um, guys, I hate to interrupt our search, but it appears we have company. That is correct. You all are on your search for the crystal ball, eh? It seems that your puny brains will have to get through me first before you continue your worthless search. Worthless search? Oh, we'll show you how this battle is going to be settled, you bastard! Take out your swords, everyone! We've got another one of Kizato's troops to fight. Let's settle this. Are you for real? What the hell? Oh hell no you don't. Hold on a minute Imata, even though you and the rest may be beginners at sword fighting, but Trust me, if this is too big of a job for her to handle alone, I'll be right by her side and take that punk down. Alright, but still. Oh, another one of Hana's pathetic teammates? You're damn right I am. Any assholes like you want to fuck with my friend, then you're about to fuck with the wrong person here. Got to see that pop. We're hitting for you. Hey, just as weak as I thought. Any more of these losers wanna come on up and settle this? Oh, wait. It seems I'm already stepping up my game here. 
Ha <laughs> ha. To hell with that you think you're stepping your so-called game here. You tell him Utor reach on, because now, this freak so here is about to lose to the both of us. Even though you and Utor we are still beginners at sword fighting, but I'm also rooting for you too. Not if I teleport first. And there he goes teleporting again. God damn it. At least on the bright side, the Morta and Amiri are going to take that guy down in no time. Well, there's only one thing left to do. What? What would that be? What we are about to do right now. Combo attack, attack away. away. Freaking finally! Go Imata and Amiri! Now we can continue searching around in the desert! Nice shot you two! I'm impressed! Ah shucks! Glad we got that taken care of in no time! Yep! Now with that dude out of the picture, we can finally continue searching in the desert for, you know, the clues, or signs about the crystal ball. Great idea! Well, I tried. And you know what? I knew how strong those two high school girls are since they got started on sword fighting. And you know what else Lord Kizato? I did try teleport and, well, I should have known how smart enough they are. I figured as much. What do you plan to do now your highness? I don't know at the moment, whether to do another meeting, or send another troop of mine I have not sent, yet. If my troops end up losing to those half-assed fighters more, then I will go after them and crunch them. Once again. Nobody like them better not stand in my fucking way of taking over that insignificant village and taking the control of its citizens. Not even if King Yuzomi, her two buddies and their allies can do shit to stop us. True, but even if Shouraku ends up losing to them, you might as well come up with an idea on how we can kill these pathetic beings. Yeah, I might as well. If they wanna fight my troops like you, Izuno, Alicia, Raiko and Sano, then they're going to have to get through not only just Shinoraku, but also Ibashi and me. Very well then Lord Kizato. We'll sure as hell come up with a plan to destroy these pathetic fighters so that village can be taken over by you. Finding anything Kimizuki saw? Still searching for it. For all I know is nothing is in this here part of the desert. It should be around here somewhere. I hope. Huh. I think we found something. Let's have a look at it. So, what does the note tell us? I wouldn't say it would be just a note. I'm thinking it could be more likely a hint to tell us. Huh. Fair point. It says here, an area surrounded by trees. Look around there, and you may stumble across another piece of hint. Wait a second, is that area referring to the forest? We've been to the forest last week, and we couldn't find a thing before, remember? Wouldn't the crystal ball be anywhere in the bamboo forest, I believe? I don't know. But we can look around and see if it is there or not. If not, then we'll have to look for clues around. Alright then. sign of it here in the bamboo forest. I know, right? 
Looks like we'll have to try the forest. We're getting close to ahead and see where we can find the traces. Right? I sure hope some of the others are looking around in different areas on where the crystal ball is. What, what the, the hell? hell? Now I remember. Yeah, we were. Except we encountered that mass ninja's clones, even though we went in separate directions while searching. And on top of that masked ninja, we never even fought the guy himself. But instead, he turned out to be a wuss after about 8 of us fought his clones. Even if we fight him, good luck with him trying to clone himself, because, like what you said Onabu, the 8 of us fought his clones. And that was during the time Zagata and I were being trained by Dario on fighting. I just realized. Absolutely yes. So now that we actually found something in this desert, what's next for us? Well, on your guys' next weekend, when the eight of you return, we'll do more sword training first, and then head to the force just to find another hint, considering that tomorrow and this week, you guys have school and other stuff to catch up with. As of right now, let's meet back at the dojo. Okie dokie. Great job on your guys' search today. I know we ended up encountering another one of Kizato's troops, which Yamata and Utori most of the time fought that guy, and luckily, we managed to find a hint that came flying to us in the desert. Yeah, definitely. But once again, good job Yamata and Amiri. Even though we still may be beginners in forward fighting, but still, great job at taking that pump down. Why well, thank, thank you, you your Riza. Riza san one last question before you guys head home, the next time we do more sword training, what new moves do you guys want to learn next? We should learn how to do the super strike kind of move, you know, for the next sword fighting training. That we can work on, does anyone else have anything for our next sword fighting training? Maybe the normal strike? That, we can also do, along with the super strike. Anybody else have anything else to add on what new moves we can do next on our next sword fighting training? The guarding part where Bobby are fighting an opponent and if they tried to attack us, we can use the sword to defend ourselves. We can do that. How about you, Imata, Amiri, Karishi and Kawazura? Do you four have anything we can add to what we can learn next on sword training? Maybe, Maybe the power, power growing, growing charge, charge on the sword? On the sword. What about the ability to run with a sword while using the sword to attack an opponent? Or how about the ability to teleport? Now those are some good ideas guys. You guys have chosen wisely. You all are on a roll with these ideas on our next sword training. I'm prepared for next weekend. Yeah, we are. And thanks. We're gonna go ahead and get going now. We'll see you guys next weekend. Take care for now. You guys take care as well. Be safe. We will. So, what do you plan to do with that hint we found in the desert? I'm going to hold on to it, or maybe place it somewhere, that way I know where it is. Alrighty. was a great search today. I'll say, and even when fighting an opponent, I gotta say, that, this was exactly my first time seeing how you and Emiri fought the opponent that was stepping in our way. I'm amazed. Thank you, Zagata. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. We'll see you tomorrow after school. Take care for now. Take care as well, Imata. I'll walk you to your apartment, Imata. Yes, you may, my sweet Prince Karishi Khan. Hey, um, mind if I see you for a moment, Zirkata? Sure. What is it, Inanaki? There's something I have been holding on to, and I think right now would be a good time to save it. What is it? Ever since the day you and I met while talking about the crystal ball being stolen incident, I just can't help 
But think about how handsome you really look. And since I have seen you in the convenience store, I kept thinking about you every day, knowing how much I really love to go out with you. My point is, is your crush human? I, I love you. I love you a whole lot. Aww, that's very sweet of you to say, Inanaki-san. I love you too. Sometime if we go out this week, where would you like us to go? I'd like us to see a movie. That sounds like a great idea. So, what's the meeting about this time, Lord Kizato? We're getting right into it. Alright, so it seems that about five of you have lost to Ima come at me for the first time because of how skilled their pathetic fighting style is. Except a certain somebody here had vanished away all because of his clones lost to them. But not just Ima come at me, but also the other pathetic beings as well. Well gee, without my clones, how else am I going to eliminate those half-assed fighters? If it wasn't for them, Kinuzomi and Nanuma, then I wouldn't vanish away. Maybe instead of being chicken, you could afford them. After all, you're still a part of the Binibu clan. Even if you tried fighting them, you could have tried teleporting behind them and screwing up their powers and shit. Now that you mentioned it, Alicia. You and Raiko could have done the same thing instead of being power punched by the two wrestlers. Ha, huh, we'll have to consider doing so if we ever plan to seek revenge on Emoton and Miri again. Ha, huh, even if we ever face them again, little will they know we will be up for round two. As of right now, the five of you may have to work on teleporting, even if they ever try getting their stupid power charge up. If you say so, Lord. Even though I have not been sent yet, but if I ignore losing to them, which I hope I don't lose, what will you do, Lord Kizaro? That depends. Show rock you. Either I will head to that city and fucking crunch them, or we will have to rotate on who will be sent to fucking kill them, especially having to kill off King Yuzomi, Namu on fucking Dario. And that will be before you take over the village and take control of its citizens. Absolutely yes. You seem to be more of a smart one to ask me that than I thought. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for this meeting. We'll speak of who I will send out next later on. Oof, it's not over yet. Imwata and Amiri, you still have me to fight. And I will come back with all my clones again. Dinner was really delicious, and I love it. We're glad you enjoyed tonight's dinner. It was delicious indeed. And I mean, very, delicious. Oh, and we almost forgot to ask, Imata, how have your friends and your boyfriend Kirishi been? They've been doing good if we can take a guess. You are correct mom, I enjoy having to hang out with them every day at school and after school. And on top of after school, we hang out at the park as usual. Sounds great to know. Yeah. Oh, and we've been meaning to ask you this, how are you doing in school by the way? Been doing good, just last week. We were learning about all this space shuttle stuff in Iga Kar Re Sensei's class during history. That's astonishing. Any favorite part that interested you? The launch part is my favorite. That's neat. I'll get it. Hello. By any chance, you must be Imatako no A. Yeah, that's me. How do you know me? If it's no trouble, step out here and we'll talk. Sure, I suppose. Ah, nice to know. So, how did you find out about me anyway? You know Hanaki News Omi, right? Yeah, I know her. I take it that you're a friend of hers. That's right. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyways, I recently called her, and we talked about how our lives been. This and that. 
She told me that she, along with Na Nu Ma, Dar Rio, you, your friends and your boyfriend have been helping them search for the crystal ball and stuff. She told me that you and your friends found a hint while looking in the desert. That's right. I also want to congratulate you on finding something while searching. Even though I wasn't just one that found a hint in the desert, but my best friend Utor Richon and my beloved Prince Karishi Khan also stumbled across a hint as well, so. Nice, totally getcha. But other than that, have you and your friends been getting into anything while having to search for the crystal ball and stuff? Now that you mention it, while having to search for the crystal ball, we encountered a few of Kizato's minions, like the masked ninja who has clones of himself, then after school, during the time while heading to the park and stuff, we encountered Alicia and Raiko who were working for him, then Utor reach on and I fought Sen no, who held one of my friends, quote unquote, hostage, at the temple of the park, and then, during our second search, we encountered, yet another one of Kizato's troops. Oh my goodness. That must have been a pain in the ass. Yeah, and luckily on the bright side, my friends and I managed to fight them. As for that masked ninja's clones, however, we fought them, but from what I was told, the real guy himself just vanished away and didn't fight at all. Talk about a wuss he turned out to be. That's a good thing that you and your friends were able to fight a few of Ki's Otto's minions. But out of curiosity, what would you do if you ever fought Kizato himself? If I ever encountered that guy, I would give that prick a piece of my mind about taking over that village and taking control of its citizens. In what right does this guy have to do something like that is what I want to know. I ask the same. But for all I know, all this madness of the Kizato guy just shows how much of a lowlife he is to be doing something not only I find evil, but ridiculous. Indeed. Hey, um, one last question I want to ask you. What's your name anyway? I haven't introduced myself, have I? Well, my name's Enko Inoshishi. It was such an honor to meet you Imata-san. It was such an honor to meet you as well, Enko-san. Well, I must get going now. I appreciate the time we took to talk about this stuff. And once again, congratulations on you your friend and your boyfriend on finding a hint. Thank you so much, and I hope we'll talk again sometime tomorrow or later. Have a good evening. You too, and good luck to you, your friends, your boyfriend, and Hana, Nanu Ma and Dari O on searching for the crystal ball. Thank you so much. If any more of Kizato's minions happen to step in me and my friend's way, we're ready for you too.
What's up, y'all? This your boy Savage Station 22, also known as on this channel, Epic Savage Animator speaking. I'd like to take the time and say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on a new video. I'll see you guys on my next video, so peace, thank you, and bye.